want to talk to you a little bit today about your garage door cables. Uh, these are torsion cables. Here's a set of cables that we sell at our parts store. Uh, the looped end obviously goes and connects to the bottom of the garage door. And then the, the end right here is the part that fits into the cable drum, fits into the slot. So your cables are very important, obviously, because your garage door is suspended by the cables. Now, the door is counterbalanced by the force applied on the spring across the torsion tube and it reels up onto this cable drum and applies, you know, you'll have tension, a lot of times uh, immense tension on these cables. So it's very important that they're in good condition, that they're not rusty, that they're not frayed, and they need to be in the correct position. You'll notice that this cable is not in the channel. It comes across it diagonally and then starts to load that way. This is incorrect as the first channel right here is a bigger circumference so if the cable takes a shortcut onto the drum, then essentially the cable is gonna be loose going down or it's been lengthened. So as the door operates up and down, it may still operate, but this portion of the door, this side of the door, the right side is gonna hang a little bit lower. So as the door goes up and down, it's gonna be slightly crooked. So a slightly crooked. So now what I'd like to do is show you how to realign this cable. You never want to just simply start loosening these two set screws. The reason for that is the tension that's put on the spring comes down across this torsion tube and is fastened to the cable drum. So if we loosen this all of a sudden, the tension that was once being held here has to go somewhere and it will go to the other side. And so that other cable will be lifting 100%. Instead of 50%, it might cause the door to to come up or get jammed or maybe even fly up on that end. So the thing that we need to do is use a vice grip. We like to use this type here with the curved ends. And that's gonna go on the underside of the torsion tube, fasten it fairly tight and against the wall, against the sheetrock, against the stud. And it's gonna be on the underside, like I said, and that's gonna hold the tension. So now we can take our ratchet and loosen the two set screws safely. So this cable drum is now gonna rotate on this torsion tube and we'll be able to loosen it enough to put the cable back in place and then make sure the cable drum is pushed against the bearing plate, hold it in place. Go ahead and finger tighten the set screws. So once, you don't wanna over tighten these, but once you know that you've made contact with the torsion tube, you're gonna go and tighten it about a half of a turn, maybe three quarters of a turn, just so it gets a little bit of a bite. Does not have to, fully go all the way into the tube. Uh, when you do that, you create problems when down the road, if you ever need to replace the spring, you're gonna have these huge divots into the tube, which will cause you problems. You won't be able to slide things on and off as easily as you would like. So now that the cable's in place, this is the original position the door was in. The door should be balanced. It should be straight at this point, And your door will now go up and down uh, smoothly as it once did. So the last thing you do is take the vice grips off. And then the first time you test the door going up and down, just be careful, uh, go slow, make sure everything's in place, make sure the cables stay in place, and that is how you fix a misaligned cable. I want to thank you for tuning in today to this how-to segment. Uh, I want to let you know that we do provide torsion cables at our parts stores, um, both the Houston store and the Channel View store. They are $15 for a set of two. Um, these are high quality torsion cables. Make sure you take a look at your cables at home, make sure they're not frayed or rusty and um, get those replaced um, if you need to. We do recommend replacing them every 10 years. So thank you so much, and we hope to see you here soon.